The Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, can best be understood against the background of the NDGs, the Millennium Development Goals that preceded them. The NDGs were a set of eight international development goals that were agreed by all countries of the world in the year 2000, relating to the period 2000 to 2015. Before that period ended, in 2012, a process began for setting goals for the next 15-year period, from 2015 to 2030. This started immediately after the UN Conference on Environment and Development at Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Not least because this conference was focused on sustainable development, it was agreed that the goals for the period to 2030 should also focus not just on development, but on sustainable development. According to some measures, the extent to which the NDGs and goals and targets were achieved was in some cases quite considerable. In particular, the first target, to halve the proportion of people in the world whose income is less than $1.25, was exceeded. But, as many commentators have pointed out, this was to a very large extent because of the remarkable economic growth achieved in China, which had rather little to do with the NDGs as such. In fact, in other countries, and especially in sub-Saharan Africa, poverty reduction was much less marked. Apart from being focused not just on development but on sustainable development, the SDGs differ in several other important respects from the MDGs. First is the role of countries in the process. The process of preparing the MDGs was rather standard top-down, in the sense that the UN agencies played a rather major role in their formation, although of course the formal document was approved by all countries at a session of the UN in New York in 2015. By contrast, countries took a much more active role in the preparation of the SDGs. UN agencies were very heavily involved, but more in a supportive role. Second is the openness of the process. Civil society, business, researchers, everyone was invited to contribute suggestions and comments in a massive deliberative exercise, both online and through workshops, conferences and so on. Third, the goals applied to all countries of the world. This contrasts with the MDGs, which were, even if not explicitly, taken to relate primarily to low and middle income countries. Fourth, and related to the above, an important goal was included concerning global governance. Many of the targets included under this goal are global in scope and address controversial political issues. For example, there's a target quote, broaden and strengthen the participation of developing countries in the institutions of global governance. And another target, by 2030, significantly reduce illicit financial and arms flows, strengthen the recovery and return of stolen assets, and combat all forms of organised crime, end quote. Thus, the SDGs may be seen not so much as concerned with development in a north-south perspective, with implications mainly for development aid, rather the SDGs are concerned with global public goods, promoting the well-being of the planet as a whole on the basis of shared but differentiated responsibility. In total, the number of goals of the MDGs was 8 and SDGs is 17, and these are ambitious and wide-ranging goals. Quite apart from the challenge of achieving them, there is a major problem in even applying the targets and indicators, how to monitor progress in numerical terms. Despite this, it's hoped that the SDGs will serve the effort to mobilise the efforts of all countries, rich and poor, and all sectors of society, individuals, businesses, governments, universities, the media, etc., in a common endeavour for the benefit of present and future generations.